Hi, it's Hetty again from Nanny's Italian Kitchen and also from Hetty's Place. Today I'm going to be making for you uh, what's called mozzarella in carrozza, but if you use a special anchovy sauce, it's called spadini alla romano. Now I've been making it a lot for the last few years, but there was a lapse where I didn't make it and I don't know why, I just forgot about it, I guess. But my mother used to make it when I was a kid, but she used to make it and it was plain. She didn't put any sauce on it. We used just to have like fried mozzarella sandwiches, which in itself is very delicious. But what I'm gonna make today is the mozzarella sandwiches, spadini sauce, and uh, I have a marinara sauce that I already made. But my marinara sauce is also on my, on my uh, channel. So some people, I've seen some videos where some people make, uh, they take the bread, they cut all the edges off, they make little pieces like this. That'll fill my back tooth. It'll fill my mother's back tooth. I like it with the crust on it. We've always had it with the crust on it. This is a panna di casa bread, or uh, we used to call it, uh, you call it panna di casa, you call it uh, something else I can't even remember. It'll come to me. <laughs> and you have uh, sliced mozzarella in between. Okay, so this show, is all show one that again. What? Show that again. A <laughs> slice mozzarella in between. This is one slice of the bread. You could buy it whole and have it sliced. They sell it sliced in the supermarkets now. They sell it sliced in the bakery too. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is the spadini sauce. I'll come back in a couple of minutes and I'll show you what I'm doing. And this is for this here, where you make the fried mozzarella sandwiches. I'm thinking of my mother. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> my mother used to just eat them, asked me to make them. She taught me how to make them. Anyway, I'll be back to make the spadini sauce. All right, so I'm going to make the spadini sauce. You start with some olive oil, uh, about three, four tablespoons, which is plenty. You put pa uh, parsley and garlic in the oil and the anchovies. You use, there's a little bit of oil from the anchovies, one, one too. One can of anchovies? One can of anchovies, yeah. I have the recipe on the okay, bottom. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so you move this around and you make sure you break up the anchovies, because you don't want whole anchovies. I'm going to lower this, it's too high. All right, so you move this around. It takes a couple of minutes to get all the anchovies. This is a great sauce on pasta by itself. My grandson is into cooking now. I had to send him the recipe for carbonara. So he's making carbonara today with his, for his mother and his family. He's 17 years old. He starts, co he starts college next year, next September, and he's taking up uh, computers, but he likes cooking so much. Now I have another nephew whose name is Dylan. Dylan went to school because he always loved to watch me cook. And now he's a chef. He's in Austin, Texas at this, believe it or not, Japanese restaurant. It's not, <laughs> it's not a sushi place, but he's making, believe it or not, a couple of Italian dishes he made for the chefs there. <laughs> and I was hysterical. He made them uh, carbonara. And I asked him about the, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, it's called Guanacanal. It's the uh, pig jowl. That's what some people in Italy use for the carbonara, but I use pancetta. Okay, so this is like all dissolved there. And I'm gonna leave it here. Most of the anchovies, once I put the other stuff in it, it'll be dissolved. So I'm gonna shut this off right now and leave it. And then I'm going to go back, and I have a marinara sauce right here that I made because, God forbid, my family, my daughter-in-law is learning to eat anchovies, but my son won't touch anything that comes from the sea. No, I'll give it a try. So this marinara is right here. I'm back. Okay, so I have eight eggs in here. If you need more eggs after, it doesn't make it because of how much you soak it in there. You know, I don't like to soak it too much, but I don't like to soak it too little either. It's like in between. 
This is a cup of uh, Pecorino Romano. This is eight eggs. We're gonna mix this around. If you want, you can put a little bit more cheese, but I think this is enough. Some people put parsley in here. If I, my grandkids are gonna eat it, they pick the green stuff out, so better off to be safe <laughs> than sorry. I have to pick all things out. So as I was saying, my nephew Dylan is a, a chef now because he said I was his inspiration. <laughs> Doesn't that make me feel great? Makes me feel great because I'm his inspiration. I have some oil heating up right here. You have to put this in very, very hot. And I need my little gumazig yam. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna take these two. Like I said, you could take the crusts off, but I like the crusts on. Makes it a little crunchier. And when you may put the egg on it too, it softens it up. So I'm gonna take this like this here, try to get it here. And you dip it. You gotta use your fingers. Dip it, turn it around. Okay, here we go. So we'll wait like two minutes and then we'll come back and I'll turn them over. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. I think this was the first one that was in. And I'm going to turn it over. Wow, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So now, while these are frying, and then I'll fry the other ones, I'm going to finish the anchovy sauce right here. I got this here. Now I'm going to put about three tablespoons of butter in here. The capers. I'm just starting to smell a lot like Spadini. <laughs> this is a little bit, a squeeze of lemon juice, that's all. And this is white wine. Like I got like a quarter of a cup of white wine. All right, here we go. Let it cook. This is not this is not a dietetic channel. This is heating up. We got the anchovies and everything. I'm shutting it off. You don't need anything more than this that. This is the finished product. I have my anchovy sauce here. I'm gonna taste it. Wow. And put a little bit of sauce here. That's a big piece. I also have uh, the marinara sauce here. Mm. Mm. That's good. I hope you try it. It doesn't take too long. It's really a simple recipe. I'll have the recipe on the bottom. Don't forget to visit the Wanna Teas and my cookbook. The cookbook link is also on the bottom of the recipe. So until next time, bon appetit. Have a great day, a great weekend, a great summer. I'll be back in a couple of weeks. I got to figure out what I'm going to make next. So long.